we're very excited about it. It's a great use of an existing facility, uh, just you know, sort of adapting it in a way that, that more people can use it. And really the, the purpose of the project is, is we're a winter city and, and we need these winter amenities. You know, that's the most cost effective way to build up the hill is to just borrow material that's right next door. Uh, so we're just going to dig a big hole basically, uh, push that up to the top of the hill, and then you get that effect of a, a taller hill by digging out the bottom and adding to the top. So uh, the other thing that does is it, it doesn't force us to build the hill up that entire 30 feet. We're only doing you know 15 feet at the top and 15 feet at the bottom. So from you heard some some uh, comments about lighting and how it affects circle drive and whatnot. Not putting it that high uh, will also help with that. Well, I think what our ultimate goal is going to be that we're going to be. As, as we've been rolling this project out, more and more opportunities for more summer usage have been coming our way, as alluded to by our project manager. The public has actually been asking for, for more and more. So that's why within our budgeting process, it's been a bit of a moving target because we actually want to slowly get to the point that there'll be year-round activities at that hill that are going to include, uh, probably primarily in the summertime, a uh, terrain park uh, for mountain biking will actually be incorporated into where the terrain park is currently decided on for the winter park. And then we're going to be looking at other things, potentially even a slip and slide, fitness circuits, uh, hopefully rock climbing wall things, even zip line. So those are a lot of things that people are excited about. So in our case, you know, we, we know that we're, we're, our project is planning to proceed and we'll hopefully have a formal announcement within the next month or so as to what exactly when we're going to be breaking ground. Um, but um, we're very close and we just need the public to really kind of step up and continue to assist us. Go to our website, the theoptimisthillcampaign.ca and support it. And if you go to our website there uh, or even our Facebook, follow us, you're more than welcome to contact Joe or myself at any given time. We're more than happy to, uh, to help uh, companies and the public get better informed with this great project.